Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. I know a lot of the uh, subscribers and the beneficiaries have lost hope. A lot are just hanging there and uh, they are just saying these people are not giving us hope. Let us be hopeful. Somehow, somehow, let us be hopeful. Uh, Admiral have come out to speak, you know, because what we need now is press conference not only about the disbursement to see what is going on then if there's any injustice to tackle it so i mean you will have come out to speak let's just listen to what he has to say see you on the other side Good morning grant community this is admin real coming your way today the 6th of may 2024 from the platform of masses freedom movement i come your way to make a short uh, voice note and i want to make some sectors of this country to understand some things and also uh, put some things in clear light i want to say that if this week passes without disbursement if this week passes without disbursement that agpg and uaag and the government of this country is deliberately inciting the masses to protest nationwide i want to say that if this week passes without disbursement that uaag agpgn and the federal government are deliberately inciting the masses to protest there is no reason for this because there is money and it is not rocket science for CBN to disburse the money. All the requirements that we are aware of is available. There is a database, the angels that we verified they are there. There is nothing that should stop this money any further. I want to tell the federal government and I want to tell AGPG and UAG that this money is being over delayed. It is more than over delayed for disbursement. It's not that this money is not available. This money is available. It's not that there is no database to disburse this money to. There is database to disburse this money to. It's not that CBN does not have what it takes to assist to make this money disbursed. It is not even that the president didn't give an order. There is a presidential order. What will be the excuse that protests will come up in this country? And the government is there the national security advisor is seeing the hardship in the country that people are buying fuel at 901,000 naira a liter and yet there is money to be given to the people to cushion the effect of the stress on people that are dying and yet the money is not released for whatever reason for whatever reason with a presidential order given with CBN having the capability, with database being available, with the money being available, what will really keep this money from being disbursed? If all these conditions are in place and yet this money is not disbursed, then there is personal interest that is involved. Then there is personal interest that is involved. I want AGPG and UAAG and government to know that if this week passes and they didn't deliberately disburse this money, then they have also deliberately incited the masses to protest. Now, it is not good that the masses are deliberately incited to protest because of failure of government to do what they are supposed to do. Failure of UAG to do what they're supposed to do. Failure of AGPGN to do what they're supposed to do. We are hearing fighting between AGPG and UAG. We are saying, your fight amongst yourselves, who is suffering it? Is it not the masses? Then both of you are blaming government for not disbursing the money. Who is suffering it? Is it not the masses? Now that if this week passes you'll be deliberately inciting the masses to protest when these uh, citizens of this country wake up and decide to demand for their rights 
be it UAG, be it all grand pressure group, be it government, they will all feel the impact. I would plead to government because president gave an order. I will plead to UAG and I will plead to all grand pressure group. Let this week not pass without disbursement. If you people are human beings, if you people are human beings, the only difference could be that you are not feeling the impact of the field because you all have monies. You're not feeling the hardship because you all have monies. There's no federal minister that is buying fuel to fuel the official vehicle at their own cost. So they don't feel what we are feeling. But the day this country will boil, they will all be overrun. It is time to stop this insensitivity to the masses. The primary function of government is welfare to the masses, not to government officials. It is welfare to the masses, to the people. That is the oath of office. And if the president gave an order, let those who are supposed to carry out this order not embarrass this government any further. A president gave an order and for months and weeks, the money is still not disbursed. It means that there is a deliberate attempt to incite the masses under whatever cover to protest. And when this finally happens, so many things will go wrong. It will not be good. Things are so expensive. People are dying. There is a lot of hardship. But every week passes by as if government is not interested, as if UAG is not interested, as if all grand pressure group is not interested. And most so, why? They are hiding information from the masses. The masses don't even know what is going on. But let me let us understand something. That if the government, if UAG, if AGPGN think that masses will forget this money, to hell, masses will not forget this money. And a day will come, they will demand for this money. A day will come, they will demand for this money. Wisdom will only be advised at this time that this has been taken too far. The drag, the delay is taken too far. I appeal once again as I round up that the government, UAG and AGPGN should disburse this money this week. And stop pushing Nigerians to the extreme. As if they don't know that hardship is killing Nigerians right now. If this money is not disbursed this week, if this money keeps getting delayed, when all these conditions are met, there is money, there is enough money, there is database to disburse. CBN, this is not a rocket science for them to disburse. And yet this money is not disbursed. And yet there is hardship in this country. People are buying fuel at 900, naira and 1000. Therefore, also having the cost of this impacting on the cost of food. Schools are starting. And yet, it seems as if UAAG... AGPG and the government are not interested. They are not even informed that the cost of living is getting too high for the Nigerian masses. It will mean that this is a deliberate attempt to push the masses of this country to extreme reactions. And also, at this point, I like everyone to know that this cannot be taken too far any longer. Let them disburse this money this week. Otherwise, their personal interest is overbearing. And there is a time masses will respond to the depressions, to the you know hardship when they know there is money that should be disbursed. Have a good morning. Thank you very much.